Hello and welcome back. So here what we're looking at is blade templating. So this is going to be the brief version. There's a lot you can do with blade templating, but I'm just going to cover just a few things to avoid confusion. So if you come to your views uh, folder here in the resources, resources, views, so you see that some of these pages I just put about.php and the others have user, like for example, user.blade.php. So when you add blade to your page, to your view page, you add .blade, you are telling Laravel that you are going to be using things like this uh, and that, and also this double brace here. So what this does is that it removes that need to create php tags every time you want to put some logic let's say you want to add an if statement or you want to add a loop so you don't need to put the php tags getting in and out of php this way this kind of looks like uh, it's part of the html because it doesn't look hot like when you add the php tags it just blends into the uh, HTML template like this. And then it's easier to type because even this here, you don't see the opening and closing PHP tags. So it reduces the amount of code that you need. So let's see a few things we can do with Blade. Okay. So the first but obvious thing is to echo out, um, to echo out variables okay so if i go to my routing here web.php which is inside uh, routes web.php so if i'm on the welcome page here let's try and do this on the welcome page so on the welcome page if i create a variable and say name is equal to uh, my name let's use an actual name let's say uh, peter Okay, so name is equal to Peter, right? Now, here I can create an array. Now, keep in mind that every time you're passing uh, variables to the view, this second part must be an array. Even though you're just passing in uh, one item, this must be an array. So what we could do instead is just create the array here we're just going to name it array and we'll say um, name like that is equal to peter so we're doing this because it expects an array that way we can add an array here like so okay so now we have peter which is there now when we go to the view we won't need to access array like this this is going to be extracted so name is going to be a variable by itself so if I go to welcome.blade here right under uh, right on this my website I can replace that with a double uh, break bracelets uh, braces like that sorry and then put my variable in there like name so normally what you would do is this PHP echo name and then close that so as you can see this is much cleaner than this and it's much shorter as well even though php comes with its own method where you can do something like this to make it shorter even that like that so it kind of almost compares to that okay but if you have blade there you can do it this way without having to show uh, opening and closing uh, PHP tags like that. So let's see if that actually works. Let me come back here and refresh the page. Now you see that we have Peter there as the variable that was sent from here. Okay. Now imagine we had uh, several names. Let's say name one, name two, name three, like so. Uh, Peter. John, and then uh, Mary, like that, and then we add the array there. So we have three names here. 
So let me go back to my welcome page and undo so that I can have my website back like so. But what I want is to display the names here. So what I will do here now is, uh, let me come back here for a second. So there's an array here, but I want, remember that this thing actually, uh, it extracts these variables. So here I will have to echo, if I come back to the welcome page here, I would have to do this and say name one like that, put a comma. And then I'll put two and then I'll put three like that. Maybe remove the comma there. Okay. Refresh. So now you see Peter, John and Mary there. They are all there. But now if I want to make a loop so that I can go through these one by one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here what I will do is this is uh, instead of creating the array like this, what I will do is I'll just do this, okay? So I add an item here on the first one, the second one, and the third one. And then what I will do is I'll say array two um, like this, names, something like that, is equal to array like that. So I've gotten this array and put it inside another array and named it names. The reason I've done this is because I want after the extraction, I should still have this one variable which contains all these. Hopefully that's uh, understood. Then I have to pass in array two there because that's the one that contains everything. <coughs> Otherwise, if I pass in array one, it's going to extract it's going to fail to extract these because they don't even have uh, keys there, right? So let me go back uh, to find the variable names in the welcome here. So what I can do now is I can use this format, but use the for each statement. So I will do this at for each like that. And then I have the variable names as name oops like so and notice i don't have to put any braces like that or that i just need to do the for each and then at the end i say end for each like this and i'm done and then in here now once i'm doing this i can uh, echo out a name and then put a comma. So keep in mind that anything outside this is HTML. So this is HTML there, so there's no error here going on at all. So I can simply put a comma there and it will loop through that. So let me come back here. And so as you can see, once I've refreshed, the names are back here. If I remove this, come back here you see that it's no longer there if I do that then you can see it so this is how you can do this and also you can add an if statement at the top here and say because for example if I um, if I remove this and don't add it there like so it's going to cause an error because the variable names does not exist anymore it doesn't exist uh, where is this here so this is where I can put an if statement and say if is set names like that and then uh, sorry there and if there so it becomes something like this okay so save, refresh. Now you see that uh, no biggie, everything is working fine. And then if I come back here and undo, where I add it and refresh, it's now going to show the names. 
Okay, so that's how this uh, template engine works. Now there's one more thing, uh, one more of these I need to show you and that one is called include. So let me just remove these. So let's say we want to create a header file, right? And we want to include it in our page because obviously we have three or four pages here, but we want a header file. So I'm going to go to the views and create one file in there. And I'm going to add, let's add a, um, let me save this though and say header dot I'll just add blade.php there, but it's not really needed. The blade is not required. So let me put that here. And then I'll put, um... so here what I want to do is add some uh, links maybe. So I'm just going to say an A tag there and say, uh, maybe this one takes you to some place. This is just a uh, home something like this let me put a dot there something like uh, yeah something like this so home about us and then something like um, uh, contact us and here maybe we have something like help so we imagine this is the normal navigation stuff right just some normal navigation here and then I'll save this file now if I go to my welcome.blade so if I want some links the way I have these links here but I want the links here at the top all I got to do is say include like that and then put the file that I want to include there which is the header like that so I don't need to add the dot blade at the end there. So I just need to type the first part there. So save this, come back here, refresh. And now you see that I have this navigation here, home, about us, contact, help. See, just by including it like that. Now I can go to my other page, the about page here, and do the same thing like so. Let me just add a break tag in the header file there for a second. Now, this is not going to work in here and we're going to see why, because we don't have the blade there. So I'm going to put that there as well. So that's the user homepage, yeah, the about page. Okay, so if I refresh here and then I go to the user page, uh -oh. why we not have the user page let's go to the web okay that's because we have all that junk there so let me save that refresh mm -hmm. so you see the navigation is here as well let me go back home i think i should have actually added links to this for a second here so i'm just going to add uh, because we have blade on this one so I would just say URL, um, something like that. I think that's the home page, which has nothing there. Let me see if that actually works. Yes, it does. So it takes us back to the home page. I click here. Let's try user, like so. And then I'm going to copy that and paste it here and here I'm just going to say user and then there's the about let's try about about and I will paste the same thing here and type about uh -huh. so let's refresh okay so user let's click on user and we have that navigation home Let's click on about. Now this is the thing. So on the about, we don't see the header here. Instead, it just brings back the text. And that's definitely because on the about section here, we don't have blade to interpret this. So if you don't have blade on your page, 
you can simply use PHP like that and put the equal sign and then close your tags like so. So let's come back here and refresh. Oopsie, I think that didn't work. Failed to open stream, no such file exists. Well, I guess it doesn't work the same way. No, does it? Oh, actually, <clears throat> this would not work because um, include means something else in, um, what's this, in PHP. This is uh, where you are actually trying to include an actual file. So this doesn't work without Blade, actually. Sorry about that. It just works in the Blade section, like so. Okay. And that's because this section right here is pre-processed and then this is run separately. So it's not a PHP command at all. All right. So those are the basics of uh, Blade. So that's enough for us to use in our system and we're going to learn more as we go on. For example, there are all these things. So keep in mind like here where it says if all this is just p normal PHP in there, okay? Even that is just normal PHP. All right, so I'm going to see you in the next video.